Want to travel back in time? Stick around and you'll do just that. We're back in 1917 at a cantonment in the northeastern United States. A cantonment was a military garrison or camp. The United States had joined the Great War, necessitating a rapid buildup of its forces, the Army, the Navy, and the Marine Corps. We're focused on a specific cantonment, Camp Syracuse. The United States Army secured the grounds of this cantonment from the state of New York on a parcel of land next to the New York State Fair, which lay just to the east. Just north of the camp, a resort area on Lake Onondaga provided a beautiful setting for an otherwise serious undertaking. Like other cantonments, Camp Syracuse was built to the unified architectural specification of an Army training center. Since we're focused on 1917, recruits cycling through this mobilization center lived in tents during that period. The tents were of several varieties. For housing troops, enlisted men stayed in 16 by 16 eight-man tents. Officers stayed in 9 by 9 tents. Soldiers bivouacking in the field buddied up with shelter halves to create pup tents. Camp Syracuse was a sea of tents. Early on, there were 1,840 eight-man tents in the main section of the camp, thus accommodating up to 14,720 enlisted trainees. Now, this number is based on a partial understanding of the landscape as represented in this map. In truth, there were probably many more eight-man tents because the training went on just east of the camp on the state fairgrounds, which were not in use for exhibitions at the time. Camp Syracuse was a city of tents sprinkled lightly with wooden structures. Like most cantonments, it included a hospital, a headquarters, entertainment facilities, a laundry, a post exchange, a post office, and other buildings the soldiers needed for morale and personal upkeep. The on-base entertainment facilities were the YMCA tent, the Knights of Columbus building, and the library next to the camp headquarters. The camp was divided by a few major roads. The main one was Van Vleck Road, which today is State Fair Boulevard. The two major roads dividing the main camp were Pleasant Beach Road and Rockaway Beach Road. There were also streets created specifically for the camp, such as Company Street, and you know that was an Army name. It's interesting to note that this part of Syracuse was a resort area at the time and presented the Doughboys, as they came to be known, many opportunities for trouble. Consequently, the Army worked with the Knights of Columbus and the YMCA to provide healthy alternatives for young men full of the energy they were building into them. Finally, it's worth mentioning that the nearby town of Syracuse provided other opportunities for the recruits in their downtime. They visited the shops and saloons just like our recruits do today. No story like this would be complete without mentioning the good people who took them in and made them feel at home. One such person was Mrs. Mary Ann Pope. We'll find out more about her next time. You can find out more about Camp Syracuse by looking it up on the web. Be careful to specify during World War I you'll be surprised to learn that it didn't outlast the war, and we'll find out more about that soon. Meanwhile, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day.